What's up guys, this is photographer filmmaker Reke. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna talk about how did I shoot this? Yeah, today I'm going to talk about photography. I recently edit filmmaking gears to my arsenal though, such as Atomos Shogun 7 and Simo 19 for ProRes RAW recording. ProRes RAW is the name of recording Kodak from Apple. I am using Sony's FX6 and FX9. They are great cameras, but they are 10-bit cameras. They only can record 10-bit internally. Sometimes I really need that 12-bit flexibility for some projects. So Shogun 7 and Simo 19 will give me that flexibility because they are not just monitors, but recorders as well. They do record video using the sensor from cameras. If you guys want to know what is ProRes RAW deeply, then I will make another episode for that. Simply, I'm talking about bit depth and it's about color information and the dynamic range. There are 8-bit cameras out there and 10-bit cameras and 12-bit cameras. 8-bit cameras can express more than 16 million colors. 10-bit cameras can express more than a billion colors. And 12-bit cameras can express over 68 billion colors. So that's a huge difference. But the human eye is very sensitive to the contrast that express brightness and darkness. But they are relatively insensitive to the color and saturation. So most of the time, 10-bit cameras are enough. But for some high-end projects, I really need that 12-bit color information. So tech nerd should stop here. So let's get back to the photography. So this project is called Arachne Project, one of our tested projects. Tested is our team's another name dedicated to artworks. Our team is Team Test Shoot, maybe you guys already know that. But the Team Test Shoot is mostly with clients. We tell client stories in our way. But tested, there's no clients, no limits. We do everything we want to do. There is another tested project called Wendy. It's on the way as well. This one was with one of my favorite model, Lita. I'll be unloading this episode as well. The reason why we made Tested is that we have more meaningful and non-commercial goal. It is to create a bright future for Korean indie filmmakers and photographers and a better environment for them to work on their arts. This is because art should not be controlled by money and power. And I truly believe that me and my team can do that. So cheer up guys, hang in there. So Arachne is a character from ancient Greek mythology. So our team decided to reinterpret this character and express it with photography and graphic art. So how did we start? First, our team having a meeting. Through a meeting, we confirm the concept and check what we need for shooting. After the meeting, the art team goes to the market to buy the materials to make the necessary props. Usually, we rent or buy props of furniture, but if there is nothing we're looking for, we need a process of designing and making them ourselves. This red mask is one of them. So many people ask me, where can I buy this red mask? Maybe for Halloween? I don't know. But we made this ourselves and it cost about $700. And this little teddy as well, this was for the Wendy project, it cost around $600. So now, we are going to make props. The art team making props by weaving all the materials one by one. This work took 17 days. 17. We should applaud the art team. Yeah, it's done. We just need to cut the remains. Welcome to our studio. Team members gather early in the morning. We are having an urgent meeting. The makeup artist suddenly couldn't participate in the shooting because she had a fever on the day. It's emergency. Our team's visual supervisor, Zoe, drove about four hours to pick up a makeup artist who was urgently replaced. What an amazing team. This is art director, Dana, and she did a great job for 
concept building, props, and cool graphics. Thanks to her, hairstylist Kayla has been working on high-end editorial for a long time in UK, so there is nothing to worry about. While doing hair and makeup, I do pre-light, creating the mood that I want and see the colors. Now, tap. Take a few pictures as a test, adjust these and that little by little, and retouch hair and makeup. I wanted to add a little more contrast, so I'm adding negative fill here. The lighting is good, the color is good, I think it's ready now. So let's officially start shooting. Let's go. I didn't use many lights for this shooting. I used two 300Ds with a gel on it. Great teamwork! See how many people are cooperating for one picture. It's impossible without them. We are making self the wraps for graphic work. We could make great graphics with these images. It's time to have some fun. I'm going to make a blurry pictures intentionally. I attached anti filter in front of the lens to take a blurry picture without changing the aperture value. Not always fancy, huh? A great picture comes from someone who tries to find a way.
I'll go brighter and softer for the last concept. I set one 600D and two 300Ds. Yeah, you are free to go. Well done guys, she is pretty much satisfied, yeah? There is one more thing we've done. It's a burning flower of Arachne. We shot these on FX6 at 120 frames per second. We try to have a dramatic effect by reverse the video. So here's the result. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll be back with another interesting episode. Take care guys. Bye bye.